Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about different apps that I use to run my real estate business. You'll see my daughter, daughter in the background, don't mind her. And today's gonna to be a little bit of a different style. I'm gonna actually be on my phone and show you what I do. So stay tuned. So here we go. I'm gonna show you guys pretty much step-by-step step all the apps and different platforms that I use to do my real estate business. Um, I'm gonna go through it one by one, bear with me. If you see anything you're not supposed to see, just disregard. But um, yeah, here we go. So with EXP, we actually have a workplace app where we all have, it's kind of like a Facebook, but just for EXP agents. So we have workplace, which is like the Facebook, and then the chat, which is just like Messenger, where we can message any employee within EXP all across the world. So that's what those two top apps are for. Vengo is something that I downloaded that I got with my local board when I joined RAB. So that is just a platform to get a bunch of discounts at different vendors. This one here is my home, I believe it's called my home open house. It's just showing time. Showing time is a platform we use to book different appointments when we're showing homes to buyers. So they have an app there for open houses. The app that I use to book appointments is this actual showing time on the right hand side. So this is basically the platform. If I wanted to request a showing, I could go there and schedule a showing. I can put the MLS number or I could put the address and do that there. I can see requests of all showings that I have completed in the past. Zoom, Zoom is a great one that I use. So I use this pretty much every day, but it's great from here. You can, I can go ahead and schedule a meeting for later today or another day. Um, just pick whatever day in the calendar and then create an invite and send that to someone. I can start a new meeting, which I will, um, or I can join a meeting, anything like that. So I always have that on my phone. And my handy dandy RICO license. So this is something it's mandatory for all of us realtors to always keep on us whenever we're doing business. So um, once you get licensed, you'll get that and you'll always have that easy access. My, Google My Business. So this is something I definitely suggest everybody to get, but you basically just create a Google My Business so that you can show up on Google. People can give you reviews and um, find your business and see some of your work. Over here, DocuSign. So like I said before in one of my other videos, DocuSign was a great um, signing platform that I use. I don't use it anymore, but I still keep it just in case. Business Suite is basically um, Facebook, but for my business page. So I can see um, anyone who's commented on my business post or sent me a message to my business account and things like that. Over here, EXP World Interchange. So with EXP, there's over 50 hours of training each and every week. And we have an online office that we use to go to the meetings. But anytime I'm on the go, I can quickly just pop in here and go and attend a meeting. Century Connect. This is basically showing time, but for listings or brokerages out in the West End. So a lot of people, a lot of brokerages in Kitchener, London, those areas, they use that. FTNI, I am so excited to be able to use this soon enough and hopefully in the next coming weeks. But my brokerage has now updated their platform so that when we have uh, commission checks, deposit checks and things like that, I don't need to actually go into the bank. I can just open up the app, sign it in, put in the home address and deposit it right into my company's bank account. Eventbrite, I have hosted a few webinars. Um, also, if I'm attending someone else's webinar, I can have easy access to that there. So that's everything in that folder. I do need to update it and add some more things. Other than that, I use Mse Msecure, which I love. Um, this is where I keep all of my passwords. There are a lot of passwords, a lot of systems that you're going to be using. So you definitely need to have some kind of a system or a notebook or something where you can write them all down. 
notes i live for notes i have notes on just about everything i create different folders as you can see i have over 1400 notes um actually i'll show you quickly anytime i'm even doing showings for a client i'll keep notes of each house that i have shown them um this is just good business practice to see kind of what clients you're investing more time in or the type of clients you're dealing with. There's a whole bunch of reasons, but that is a good example. YouTube, as you guys are watching. Um, so yes, I have my YouTube quick access there. One thing I do use for YouTube as well. Oh gosh, sorry. I see, I have another folder here called Tori and Realty, but I have this one here in the middle right, YouTube Studio, which is great. So if you do have a YouTube channel, this is definitely an app that you want to have. So from this app, it'll give you a summary of your subscribers and it'll just tell you the statistics of how your videos are doing and any comments you have, you can quickly go in there and analyze that. And even the whole analytics um, with YouTube, I just got monetized a few months ago. So it can even show you track of how much money you make um, from your videos, which topics are doing more popular and things like that. Quizlet, I haven't used this in like a good year, but for those studying in Humber, it's definitely a good thing to use if you can find some good Quizlets. Canva, I use this on a weekly basis to create a bunch of graphics and things. So they have a mobile app, but I like using it on the computer more. Fiverr, I don't know why so many people haven't heard of Fiverr, but it's a great platform to be able to order different marketing materials and at really great cost. So example, my YouTube ending slide, this person I used to create it for $5. Okay, over to the left middle is QuickBooks. So this is something I also use on a daily basis. I will do a whole separate video on how this all works, but it's a great platform in order to track your mileage, track your expenses at a really easy way to do. Um, next. Audible, so I love to read uh, audiobooks. I don't like to so much pick up books and read them, but if I have the audio version, I will play them all the time, even when I'm driving between appointments. What else? Oh, Scannable. This is an amazing app. Um, so anytime I have a document, like when I pick up a check or something, I need to scan it. It does a really good job at scanning. Um, oh, that was a really bad example but it, does a, it normally does a really good job at scanning documents on the go and I can use my phone and it looks like I use like a professional printer or whatever. Um, what else? Oh, Proctortrack, I'm not using that anymore. Etsy is a great platform to use as well for different um, people who do different marketing and branding and stuff. And again, you can get good prices on there too. Okay, what else do I use? Um, Waze. So Waze is a big one that I use um, when I am going to showings and things like that. I also do use Map. Sometimes Waze acts funny, so I like to use Map. Uh, that works really great. Oh, this is Tresta. So this is what my um, business phone looks like. So it shows me my call history. I have my contacts if I wanted to dial a number. I can go ahead and dial it. And then I also get text messages, which is great. And then voicemails. So all my voicemails are here. Even if I wanted to record every single phone call, I have the option to record every phone call there and it saves it all for me, which I love. Broker Bay. So Broker Bay is the main platform I use to book showings and it is a very seamless um, process that I love using. For instance, this is an appointment that I have today at 2 p.m. The lockbox code is there. They give instructions if I needed to contact the realtor. Um, even if I'm just looking up an address, you, right from here, I can go and register an offer or I can go and book an appointment on whichever day. It'll show me what time slots are available and things like that. Um, KB Core, this is my CRM system, which I love so much. It does so much of the work for me. So anytime a client emails me to my work email address, I can access it from here. I can see my contacts. I can see listings. Um, I can dial people right from it. Um, it's very limited on the mobile app here, but I can do so much on my desktop. 
and then wrap. So what I did is I went to the internet and I went to my wrap login and then I just clicked this button here and said add to home, home screen right here just so I have a quick go to there. Clarity, I recently got a dual membership. So I have a lot of business, not only in Hamilton, surrounding areas, but also in the GTA. So I recently got Clarity, um, which is my my way to access Trev. Uh, what else here? So I'm with TELUS. I signed up with TELUS because I'm a realtor with RAB. I actually got a, a good offer where I got $200 credit on my first bill, and then anybody who joins TELUS and mentions my name, they can also get a $200 credit, as well as I get another $200 credit. So TELUS is great, and they have a mobile app where I can see how much data I'm at, um, what phone calls and things like that, how many minutes I have available, and what my billing and everything is. So that is great to have on the phone. Um, I don't know about you guys, but as a realtor, I love my car to be clean. So I actually got a membership with this rainbow car wash at uh, Esso Gas Stations, where I pay thirty dollars a month, and I can get, um, and I can get one car wash every day. So if you calculate that, normally the car washes are like thirteen dollars each or more, and I get one every day, every month. So that was definitely worthwhile for me um what else uh so also with exp we do get a free ring central phone number to get a business line as well i downloaded the app i haven't tried it yet but that is what that is and then recently one of my uh colleagues who just got licensed andre he told me about this road warrior app which is great where i can put in a bunch of addresses and it'll show me what the best route there is and then hashtag expert, my good friend, colleague Jenny, she just told me about this one. And, oh, so much happening. And this is a great way to get this system to actually build hashtags for you when you're making a post. Other than that, obviously I have my phone down here. Oh, got my mail, calendar. Oh, my calendar is, 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 is my second hand. <laughs> so any appointments I have for the week, um, I have everything scheduled there from day to day. I love it because it's mobile. It syncs on all of my devices and that's great. And then obviously text messages here. One thing actually I just discovered. So for social media, these are the main ones I use. WhatsApp, Facebook, Messenger, Instagram. I don't use Snap so Snapchat so much. I just got Clubhouse, just got into that. Uh, LinkedIn I do use and I don't do Twitter, but what is amazing is this one here, WhatsApp business. So I now have a WhatsApp that is linked to my business number, but as you can see, it's on my personal phone. So that just made my life so much easier to be able to have clients message me directly on WhatsApp, but through my business line. So, okay, I think that's enough for today. Those are the main apps I use to do business. If you guys have any other good tips, Feel free to comment below and we can chat some more. All right, guys, so that is pretty much it. Those are the main apps that I use to run my business each and every day. Hopefully that provides some value for you guys. If you guys have any other apps that you like to use that you find effective, comment below so that we can all share and learn together. We'll see you in the next video.